Hillary Clinton is going to have to be eating her words again because, as we all know, last week she blamed Bernie Sanders for not supporting her fast enough during the 2016 general election cycle. So, uh, or as uh, many people that were Bernie supporters at that time would call, too slow, too slow, or too fast. Yeah, a lot of people were were very mad that he even went on that campaign. You know. Junk it, is that what you would call it? I would see, I've seen a lot of people in chat that are still upset about that, that still hold it against him even. Yeah. I mean, that's a, I mean, his arms are tied, right? What do you do? You can't, you I think can't it was snub. legally tied. Right, yeah, you can't snub, I mean, even just optically, you mm-hmm. can't snub the, the, the Democratic nominee or else everyone will uh, just, you know, pillory you, no pun intended, uh, for not supporting the nominee and thus electing Trump. So uh, his, in his case, oh, you didn't su- support her hard enough? You weren't enthusiastic enough and therefore you helped Trump? Well, no, if he didn't. it's that he didn't support her soon enough. On, on yeah. the, it was that. Uh, anyway. We're, yeah, we're going right, right. to. Right. It's a mess. It's but, a mess. It's a mess. That's what see, we're trying to say. But here's the issue, guys. That was only last week. And so here is Senator Bernie Sanders correcting the record on Hillary Clinton. Oh, I'm sorry snap. that Hillary Clinton is rerunning 2016, Sanders said. Um, I w- could take out a letter from Hillary Clinton saying, thank you, Bernie, for working so hard to try and make me the president of the United States. Well, oh my God, wow. He actually has a letter from former Secretary Hillary Clinton, the quote-unquote official Democratic nominee of 2016, thanking Senator Bernie Sanders on helping her with her campaign. You know, it's almost like she conveniently forgets people and when they're running for office or when they're trying to help her run for office. Um, And of course, he, again, Sanders uh, rejects uh, Clinton's claim uh, about uh, about, uh, basically not supporting whoever the nominee will be. What I tried to do after the primary was sit down with her and her staff, and we did, to create a Democratic platform that was progressive as it could be, and it ended up happening. So I don't want Want to rerun 2016, uh, Bernie Sanders said. Right now, our goal is to defeat Donald Trump, and I think I'm the strongest candidate to do that. So, there you go. There you have it, Bernie Sanders. And look, we I remember 2016. I remember when Senator Bernie Sanders actually went on, uh, basically went to help Hillary Clinton for her run in uh, during during the 2016 general election cycle. He was there. He was sitting down with her and her staff and uh, helping her out with her campaign. And of course, then after a while, they just got rid of him. But he was there helping her. He supported her. He endorsed her. And then guess what? She still lost. So no matter what, it seems very odd that Hillary Clinton is trying to make herself relevant again after all this time. And this is once again her trying to blame people for something that they didn't do. And Bernie Sanders is coming here with the truth, basically saying, I helped you with your campaign and I have a letter that says thank you. So it's Hillary Clinton living in her fantasy land. And once again, anything that she says is corrected because when it really comes down to it, Clinton is a liar, and that's all that she's built her political career on. And Bernie Sanders once again proves that he has integrity and and has also proves that he has been on point and is still helping out the Democratic Party, even though the Democratic Party is doing whatever it can to screw him over. So I'm going to add into this that this is another thing where it is Hillary Clinton showing her true colors. And I know a lot of people that are much older that I do know who even to this day are very much like, yeah, but she's done some nice things. I want to remind everyone, I want to remind Hillary, I guess, especially, and I really want to remind maybe Hillary's supporters or ex-supporters, especially, hopefully not current because she's not running. When Obama was running in 2008, Hillary Clinton pulled out or stretched out the uh, endorsement in a very similar way that Sanders did. Now, one difference is she took out of it Secretary of State. That's what she got out of holding her uh, supporters um, in her back pocket. When Bernie did it, he got free public college tuition and a number of other policies concessions on top of that. So when Hillary Clinton says that why did he do that? She knows exactly why he did it. He did it not for his own personal gain. It was for your personal gain. That's what he held out for. He got a deal he thought was good, and he said, "I'm gonna." That seems fair enough to go with. I will endorse her. And then he went through other points. Second, yeah. Hillary Clinton in 2008, 25 percent of her supporters. Do you remember Puma? Please, uh, party unity, my ass. It was a very different feel on party unity than Nancy Pelosi makes it out to be today. 
defected and did not vote for Barack Obama, instead either sat out the election or voted for McCain. Conversely, Bernie Sanders supporters, 12% voted for Trump or sat out. So if we look at the metrics that Hillary herself has brought up, Bernie Sanders did twice as good of a job helping her than she helped Obama. Right. Paul, well, you know, word? anyone that's been following uh, the news over the last three years knows that Russia was the uh, entity that was completely behind uh, Bernie Sanders' campaign because that was obviously what was needed to make sure that Hillary got the nomination right. so that Trump could beat him, which is all Putin's plan. And obviously no one had any criticisms of either Bill or Hillary Clinton prior to 2016. They, they were the most liked candidates, the most liked politicians in all of the land. Everyone loved them. There certainly were no criticisms dating back to when she was on the board at Walmart. There certainly were no criticisms about uh, when uh, her husband was the president and she was first lady. and. Uh, some super predator comments. Nobody cared about that. That was uh, that was nope, not a thing exist. that anyone cared about. All criticism started with Bernie. It was Bernie via uh, it was Putin via Bernie. That's what happened. Putin put all these things in Bernie's uh, mind, and then he went and just said all those horrible things. He ran against her. Right. That's what tears down the party is running for the nomination when someone who is demonstrably the most popular person ever in the history of people. Uh, is running. How dare you want to have a shot at the nomination? How dare you advocate for the policies and principles that you'd like to see enacted? That is untoward, sir. We need to elect the most popular politician ever that no one has ever criticized. <laughs> so with that being said, though, and once again, Bernie Sanders is speaking truth to power. He's being consistent and he's telling people, here's the real truth. And Hillary Clinton once again shows her true colors. She's a liar, but we already knew that, and she's somehow still trying to make herself relevant. 